Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about sulfonamides. Sulfonamides are also called as sulfa drugs. Okay. Sulfonamides were the first effective chemotherapeutic agents. Chemotherapeutic agents. which could be used systemically for the treatment of variety of bacterial infections. So, we can say that sulfonamides are the antimicrobial agents. So, what are sulfonamides? Sulfonamides are the antimicrobial agents which are used in the treatment of bacterial infections. Okay. But sulfonamides developed a very rapid resistance. So, sulfonamides developed a rapid resistance and the same time there was increase in the use of penicillins. There was increase in the use of penicillins, particularly the broad spectrum penicillins. So, the two factors, one increase in the resistance for the sulfonamides and increase in the use of penicillins at that time these two factors diminished what they did they diminished the usefulness of sulfonamides okay. and due to this only today we find a very little space for the sulfonamides in the list of the chemotherapeutic agents which are used in the treatment of infectious diseases okay this sentence or this particular statement doesn't mean that sulfonamides are completely outmoded however in the year or you can say in the mid of 1970s in the mid of 1970s a combination of the drug called as trimethoprim a combination of the drug trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole sulfamethoxazole okay a combination of the drug trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole was developed and it was demonstrated for the antimicrobial action they found that this particular combination is a very good antimicrobial agent which was success in the treatment as well as in the prophylaxis of many infectious disorders okay next this is uh, what we call it as a the brief introduction to the sulfonamides so sulfonamides ka small introduction kya hoga sulfonamides are the antimicrobial agents useful for the treatment of bacterial infections they develop resistance very fast and of course during that time the penicillins are also in the market and these factors reduce the use of sulfonamides but it doesn't mean that sulfonamides are not are not there only in the market because a combination of trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole still it is going to be it is prescribing and it is a very good uh, antimicrobial combination okay so this is all about introduction let us go for the now history or we can call it as the development of the sulfonamides okay so let us concentrate on the history of the sulfonamides or you can say the development of sulfonamides the first sulfonamide drug discovered was prontosil so pehla drug jo aaya tha sulfonamides mein wo kaun sa tha prontosil the experiment with the prontosil was started in 1932 in the laboratories of Bayer AG, a component of the huge German chemical trust IG Farben under the guidance of Gerhard Domag. So, kya keh rahe hai? The experiment on prontosil began in the year 1932 in the labs of Bayer AG. So, Bayer AG is one of the pharmaceutical company which was under the one of the very huge chemical trust called as IG Farben. So, Bayer AG is a pharmaceutical company which was IG Farben ke under kaam karti thi. IG Farben is a very big chemical trust which was under six pharmaceutical companies. Usme se Bayer AG bhi one tha. 
okay and the work on the protocil was going on under the guidance of gerhard domag gerhard domag was one of the popular researcher and uh, what we call it as physician he was a very popular physician come researcher gerhard domag and his team was studying the brilliant red dye later he named it as protocil and their studies found that so their studies was uh, was found that this protocil is a very good in the treatment of streptococcal infections in mice so what they found that protocil is a very good antimicrobial agent against streptococcal infections the same time they even observed that the protocil is inactive against bacterial cultures means when they gave protocil to mice it shown antimicrobial action but when they tested its antimicrobial action outside that is in back on bacterial cultures it did not produce any kind of the uh, what we call antimicrobial action this study on the protocil was continuing and in the year 1933 forester naam ke scientist ne produced one report and in his report he shown that the protocil is a very good for the treatment of severe bacterial infections and he obtained a very dramatic cure unhe pata chala ki protocil ko jab diya jata hai to ye bahut hi acha bacterial infections ko cure karta hai और बट इस इस स्टडी के बाद भी द क्रेडिट ऑफ मोस्ट डिस्कवरीज यानी जितने भी स्टडी हुए ऑन प्रोटोसिन द क्रेडिट ऑफ मोस्ट डिस्कवरीज रिलेटेड टू प्रोटोसिल बिलोंग्स टू डोमैक नो डाउट दैट द क्रेडिट ऑफ प्रोटोसिल जो भी है प्रोटोसिल की जो भी क्रेडिट है इट गोज टू द डोमैक एंड फॉर हिज पाइनरिंग वर्क he awarded nobel prize in medicine and physiology in the year 1938 but he denied to take that award in that particular year but he received the same in the year 1947 okay so next let us see the structure of protocell okay so the structure of protocell प्रोटोसिल के स्ट्रक्चर में यू कैन फाइंड दैट देर इज एस ओ टू एन एच टू ग्रुप इज देर देर इज वन बेनजीन रिंग इज देर एंड यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अजो लिंकेज इज देर एन डबल बॉन्ड एन इट इज कॉल्ड एज अजो लिंकेज एंड यू कैन फाइंड इवन दैट देर इज अ वन टू डाई अमाइनो बेनजीन रिंग इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटोनसिल ऑलरेडी इट वॉज ब्रीफ दैट the protocil is not having action on the bacterial cultures so it was concluded that protocil is totally inactive in vitro okay whereas it shows a excellent antimicrobial activity in vivo means protocil ki activity as an antimicrobial it is very good inside the body whereas it is not having any antimicrobial activity outside the body this property of protonsil only attracted much attention to many of the researchers com- research companies and many researchers came forward to understand this particular property continuing with this only in the year 1935 mein trefowl and his co-investigators so the, a uh, one team called as tree fowl and co investigators they did the sar studies on the sulfonamide azo dyes so they did sar studies on the sulfonamide azo dyes and in their studies they concluded that the azo linkage was reductively cleaved to release the active antimicrobial product sulfanilamide so what they are telling here is उनकी स्टडी में बताया गया कि प्रोटोसिल के स्ट्रक्चर में जो अजो लिंकेज है दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रेक डाउन दैट इज इफ यू ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड फ्रॉम हियर एंड दिस बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रोकन डाउन बाय रिडक्शन रिएक्शंस व्हेन इट ब्रेक डाउन दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉन्ड देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू कंपाउंड्स वन कंपाउंड इज हैविंग Uh, name called as sulfanilamide and it is so2 nh2 
this benzene ring and this NH2 okay and one more compound is NH2 NH2 this benzene ring and NH2 that is 1 2 3 that is triamino benzene is the second compound so they found that protocell undergo reduction inside the body and it is going to give two metabolic products one is sulfanilamide and the other one is triamino benzene and this sulfanilamide what they have shown it is the one which is having antimicrobial action and the study of the tree fowl and co-investigators was further confirmed in 1937 by Fuller. Fuller ne is study ko fir se confirm kiya. How he confirmed? He confirmed it when he isolated the free sulfanilamide from the blood and urine of one of his patient who was treated with protocell. So Fuller ne kya kiya? इनके एक पेशेंट जिसे प्रोंटोसिल दिया गया था उसको उसका जब ब्लड और यूरिन का टेस्ट हुआ तो दे फाउंड दैट सल्फानिलमाइड इज वन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इन इट सो डेफिनेटली ये क्या बताता है कि प्रोंटोसिल इन आवर इट शोज दैट प्रोंटोसिल इन आवर बॉडी अंडरगोज रिडक्शन टू गिव सल्फानिलमाइड एंड द सल्फानिलमाइड इज एंटी माइक्रोबियल ड्रग सो ओनली प्रोंटोसिल इन विट्रो इट इज इनएक्टिव क्योंकि बाहर तो ये सिर्फ प्रोंटोसिल है लेकिन इन साइड द बॉडी वॉट इट इज बिकमिंग इन साइड द बॉडी इट इज बिकमिंग सल्फानिलमाइड इट इज बिकमिंग वॉट सल्फानिलमाइड एंड दिस सल्फानिलमाइड इज हैविंग एंटी माइक्रोबियल एक्शन सो दिस स्टडी ये जो स्टडी थी सीरीज ऑफ द स्टडीज ऑन द प्रोंटोसिल ओपन अ मॉडर्न एरा ऑफ कीमोथेरापी क्योंकि बहुत सारे कीमोथेरापेटिक एजेंट्स अब मार्केट में आने शुरू होने वाले थे इसके अलावा द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रोड्रग आल्सो वाज स्टार्टेड आफ्टर दिस ओनली यहाँ पर पता चला कि प्रोटोसिल इज इनएक्टिव एज सच बट आफ्टर मेटाबॉलिज्म प्रोटोसिल इज इनएक्टिव एज सच बट आफ्टर मेटाबॉलिज्म इट इज गोइंग टू गिव एक्टिव ड्रग and that is called as pro drug so the concept of pro drug was also started after this studies only isi ko continue kar kar in the year 1948 mein sulfonamides se related 4500 compounds ke ko synthesize kiya gaya almost 4500 compounds were synthesized and out of that only 12 compounds only two dozens of compounds have been used in क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस सो बाकी सब कंपाउंड्स को मार्केट में नहीं लाया गया हो सकता है उनकी प्रॉपर्टी कहीं कमी होगी हो सकता है उनके कुछ टॉक्सिसिटी प्रोफाइल्स होंगे सो दिस इज ऑल कि ये किस प्रकार से सल्फोनोमाइट्स बने आफ्टर दिस फोर्टीज में लेट फोर्टीज में ही वी केम टू नो दैट सल्फोनोमाइट्स के भी कुछ टॉक्सिसिटी प्रॉब्लम्स थे उसके अलावा पेंसिलिन्स वर देयर सो उन्होंने ज़्यादा मार्केट को डोमिनेट किया इन सब रीजन्स की वजह से सल्फोनामाइड्स डेफिनेटली वी हैव व्हाट वी कॉल फ्यू नंबर्स इन द मार्केट बट इट वी कैन नॉट से दैट वी डू नॉट हैव अट ऑल यस द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ट्राई मेथोप्रीम प्लस सल्फा मेथोक्सोजोल स्टिल इट इज देयर एंड इट इज़ प्रिस्क्राइब and we have a uh, few of the sulfonamides which are used in the treatment of uh, some bacterial infections okay so this is all about the history and development of the sulfonamides